What up, you guys? Slim here, Team Purple Panda. Uh, here to do another uh, card discussion. We're going to discuss a uh, handy little spell card that really can, you know, screw over a lot of decks um, and really, you know, just throw your opponent's whole game off um, just by its activation. We're going to talk about Dimensional Fissure, aka D Fissure. Uh, people who don't know what this is, it's a spell card, continuous, that as long as this card is on the field, uh, monsters, only monsters that would go to the graveyard are removed from play instead. Um, this card has seen a lot of play in side decks, a lot of play in some samurai decks, and just different decks in general. Uh, its main focus is to stop cards from going to the graveyard that would trigger in the graveyard. Uh, mainly you stop plants, you guys. You wreck plants' life, they just, they scoop. Because if you play D Fissure turn one and you can protect it in Samurais, they're done. They have no effects that can trigger, uh, none of their effects can trigger in the graveyard. They are completely screwed. Um, D Fissure is amazing because it stops that deck so hard, it's not even funny. D Fissure is good because it stops Frog Monarchs Treeborn from coming back. Um, aside from that, though, like, I mean, they still have Soul Exchange and Econ, but, like, honestly, like, when they don't have Treeborn around, I mean, they really kind of, they really slow down. So, uh, it's an amazing card against that deck. It's good against my deck because of my Recruiter. However, I can still use Descendant because it says just Tribute, it doesn't say it goes to the graveyard. So, um, you know, it, it plays against different decks. Um, it works, the synergy is really good in uh, Six Samurai and Gladiator Beast, because both decks don't really require on you getting cards back from your graveyard, except GB a quest, but honestly, that's not a problem, because a quest's main thing to get back is Chariot. D Fissure is only monsters, so if you're recycling your Chariot through a quest, you really don't take a loss. Um, as far as Six Samurais go, I've seen this in their main deck, because they won't be, they'll main maybe one double edged sword technique and you know if D Fissure would be destroyed you know they can double edged sword technique but I've seen this a lot when they side because then they take out their double edge they put in D Fissure and they totally lock their opponent down because their graveyard is completely useless at that point and I've seen this strategy in a lot of other decks and it works really well because when you take away the graveyard from your opponent most decks plants especially really suffer if all your effects are in the graveyard and you have no graveyard you have no effects which means you have no game which means you're done so you know D Fissure is a really powerful card so people say macro is better. I think D Fissure is a little better because it's faster, number one. And number two, um, you can seven tools, macro cosmos, and um, whereas it's a lot harder to get rid of D Fissure. So um, those are my reasons uh, that say D Fissure is a little better than macro. Also, macro, I mean, macro is kind of overkill, you guys. It's like, do you really want to send your opponent spells and traps? I mean, does that really matter? They're not getting them back. So, I mean, instead of waiting a turn to activate macro, you know, I think D Fissure is way better. It's faster, it's more consistent, and, you know, it just wrecks, like, plants' lives, and there's a lot of decks' lives because we can't, I mean, it wrecks Machina. I mean, when you can't get your monsters from the graveyard, when there is no graveyard for your monsters, it just sucks. Like, literally, you're, you're kind of at a standstill and I mean for gravekeepers for myself I have encountered this once before and my only problem was that I really didn't want to have to get rid of my recruiter to pop it so what I ended up doing was I ended up summoning another descendant and it actually didn't get warning and I popped a descendant with a descendant to get rid of D fissure and then popped a recruiter to pop another back row because losing recruiter really sucks in uh Gravekeeper, and I mean that's just one of the big things is that if I lose my main searcher, my deck slows down a lot. But I mean, aside from that, a lot of other decks can you know get around it. Fish cannot. Fish will get fucked or they're done. Um, if you get rid of the Treeborn, you get rid of just stuff like with, with D Fissure, it, it just wrecks. Because when you can't bring back Treeborn to stall, you can't bring back Rodentonin, I mean, you're really at a standstill. And that's why D Fissure is so good, you guys. I mean, it really is. It does a lot of work, and. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say, you guys. You know, let me know what you guys think of Dimensional Fissure. Uh, really good card because, uh, you know, it just wrecks the meta. It really just hurts the meta a lot. So, once again, shout out to uh, Dark Instinct. Uh, hope this answers all your questions about Dimensional Fissure. I think it's an amazing card. It's an amazing side deck card. If you can main it in your deck, by all means do it because it does wreck your opponent. It does wreck X Sabers too because their monsters don't, their monsters need to go to the graveyard. There is no graveyard. So, uh, that's all I gotta say, you guys. You know, uh, leave me your feedback below. What do you think of Dimensional Fissure? And, you know, just please continue to rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.